a double double machine who was almost too good for the league in his two years at Purdue. They looked like he was just toying with most defenders for most of his career. Caleb was one of those players who had a weight issue in high school and when he got to Purdue and lost a ton, a ton of weight. What he was able to do from the day he stepped on Purdue's campus to the day he left, in terms of changing his body, working, dominant, became an elite rebounder, became an elite scorer. He had to work on these things. He was talented when he got to Purdue, but he really worked his tail off. And for a guy that in college can change the way that he eats, can change his body, can be the most dominant double-double guy in the country with teams in the Big Ten game playing against you, I just think you're talking about a dominant player. He's made himself a star, man. Double doubles. I mean, he was a guy who set a Big Ten record with 28 of them. You saw 20 and 20 games from him. The fact that he led the Big Ten in scoring and rebounding, you know, certainly made its mark. During the time when he was playing, he was very, very important to that team. And to be an All-American, to, to uh, garner all of the accolades he did after having lost all that weight was inspirational, not only to the players on his team, but the people who watched and, and got to know his stories. How good is that? Hey, how about a little Nowitzki right yeah. there, right? He didn't get enough credit for his dominance because he didn't talk a lot, but he did all his talking on the court. And he was one of the more dominant players that I've seen come through the Big Ten.